everyone, and welcome back to Manda TME, and welcome back to Strange Horticulture. Do I even have to do an intro anymore? This game is amazing. Anyway, uh, grab yourself something cozy, and let's get started. And yes, I have giant mask marks all over my face today. I know, it's not cute. I tried to cover them up. That's just what it is. But there are still cases, and I just want to be safe. Okay, Endmore Raven Spider. That's the wrong document. Oh, we also have this to do. But, but we did start grouping them together. And more. Okay. There's and more. Okay. Spider Raven. I'm not really sure what to do with that information. Because before they like... So it's... Spider Raven. I come here. Okay. Hmm, I'll have to ponder on that one for a while. And then we did start grouping some stuff together. Okay. We'll come back to that. But it is time for us to open the shop. Grace, have you heard of this masked woman? Imagine having that amount of power. Nations would kneel before you. You would be a god. That creature, it's huge, unstoppable, and they say it obeys her every command. It would certainly come in helpful with my father-in-law tomorrow. I guess I'll just have to settle from Daisy Doc to help me get through instead. Okay, I think we discovered some Daisy Doc, though. Didn't we? No. We talked about it, though. And we thought it might be... I thought it might be one of these. A simple potion um, that will grant courage can be brewed from the leaves. It says ancient warriors would take it before going into battle. Okay, so we know it has bluish purple flowers. With a gentle scent. It's, it has to be one of these two, so let's try it. Oh, perfect. Dead man's fingers. Okay, so we now know one of those. Um, okay. So one of... Okay, that's about mushrooms. So five-pointed lead to... So, okay. All right, so we know one of them. Okay, let's look at this again. 
So, what if it's just two locations? more important things I could be doing back at the shop. It's almost like... Hmm. Well, if I don't get it this time around, we'll figure it out eventually. This letter was delivered in an unusual way. There was no address provided, just the horticulturalist spelled wrong. I assume it was meant for you. Oh, inspiration. We like inspiration. If you know your plants, this letter is for you. Um, if you know your plants, this letter is for you. Isn't there one that like reveals hidden things? Cause I thought it was like, sure it is ho ho so you got it working oh yes yes it works it works look to the north of Baufell at the source of the river Esk no one knows it grows there it will be our little secret ho ho Look to the north of Balfell at the source of the river Esk. North of Balfell. Sure enough, I find a plant here that I have never seen before. Oh, that's interesting. No go here. My husband likes to forage for mushrooms, but I'm worried about the ones he's brought back from his last venture. He's just been on a trip across the lake, exploring the woods to the west of here. He's got a bag full of odd looking mushrooms that he says are perfectly safe, but they don't look edible to me. I have brought one with me to help identify it, but he's hoarding them because he thinks I'm going to throw them away. Mr. Dunn, Mushrooms wood, woods west of Undermere across the lake. West of un, Undermere across the lake. Okay. Maybe there. Mushrooms. How have I never been here before? They are hard to find at first, but soon I'm seeing them everywhere. I mean, my favorite color might be red, but I do know that red in nature is sometimes a pretty big warning. Hmm. Okay, well that one's resolved. But that's not. Okay, you go to Mushroom Town. 
Those dead man's fingers? Lord Fremont told me he was able to help you find some information on the servant. I've been looking all over the library, but I've discovered a mold problem. I hope you might have sweet breath that could help clear this clear it up. I don't. Palings. I'm sure I have some of that around here. Some kinds called sweet breath. Okay. Most plants offer a small improvement to the air quality, but the paleance is in a class all of its own, and sometimes called sweet breath thanks to the freshness of the air in its vicinity. The many short leaves of this plant are thought to help filter toxins. It must be one of these. Pungent. Small delicate flowers. Pleasant, fresh aroma. Let's try this. There we are. Sour bandy. I'm gonna put pallions. Okay. Red flower protect mine. Seed pod for luck. Hmm. Well. Weird. Okay. Back to it. End more raven spider. Hmm. Well, what if we did? What do we did there? I don't think it's this, but we'll try. Raven. Oh! The jackdaw croaks hidden somewhere nearby. Strange shapes of old stones pierce the long grass. Among them, some plants grow. Are these pods? Though bobbles are though the bobbles are soft, look soft, they are in fact quite hard. Okay. Let's put you with some undiscovered things. And the leaves are strong and leathery. Hey, I'm just happy I solved it, because that was getting a little frustrating and embarrassing. Um, five pointed leaf to grow courage. Seed pod for luck. Kind of look at our other flowers. Leathery leaves, baubles, bell shaped flowers, heart shaped leaves, gentle scent, somewhat damp smell, the 
flowers are blue. Thanks. Bright red flowers. Deep blue, quite pretty. Slightly aniseedy. Smelly. Also smelly. Red fruit, not smelly. Also not smelly. Sweet like strawberry. Smells like rhubarb. Unpleasant. Mm, I thought that was sweet. And pretty. And then there's our mushroom crowd. My cousin will be married in three days. If you've got some trimble huff, then it'd save me the trouble of going out to find some myself. She's not worth the trouble. Oh my goodness, people. Trimble huff. Traditionally used as a decoration at weddings as it's thought to strengthen relationship. A cross section of the small cup-like flowers, they generally point downwards to avoid filling with water and allow easy access to pollinating animals. Well. Nope. Nope. Cross section. Do we have any others that... Okay. Do we have any bell-shaped flowers? We have some though, and it's not discovered. Oh, okay. Glow horn. Oh, that's kind of cute since uh, in uh, Ark there's a shine horn. I don't know guys, kind of don't want to, alright, well we've done that, um, don't even know what that is. Look, I don't think it's Daisy Dog for luck. I can't remember. No, that's courage. Five pointed for. Oops. That's Daisy Dog. That's for courage. Is this what we've been collecting for the other? Um, bear, long bear coon, is that what it's called?
lift curses. Okay, yeah. So that's our grouping for this one. Okay. First is the corpse's friend. Is that Dranthium? I'm sure I will figure it out. We probably don't even have all the plants yet. <sighs> I want to be nosy, but like, oh, what would it hurt for us just to visit somewhere? Let's go to Fairfield Peak just for fun. I reach the, the rough, stony plateau atop Fairfield Peak and catch my breath. The wind swirls and lashes at my cheeks. I take shelter behind a stone wall for a bite to eat before heading back down the mountain empty-handed. Okay. Eight miles to the east. The shepherd watched as she prepared the leaves and roots that she would require. He watched as the hours dragged by. The sun set and she worked by candlelight at times still s sitting still, at times moving like a dancer among the stones. The change happened suddenly, but also subtly, so that at first the watcher was not sure that anything had happened. Then he saw it. All right, guys. Well, I think that is all for today. Um, gosh, I, I hope time doesn't run out. There's still so much to learn. I hope you're enjoying the series as much as I am. As always, take care and happy sipping.